YouTube, it's me, Jen, your pudgy picker. Got another uh, video for you. I wanted to show you what I got in the jewelry jars. I had three jewelry jars that I got, and a few days before I uh, bought those at the thrift store, I purchased a small box. It was like a small flat rate box of a jewelry lot because I wasn't finding any, and then of course, before I got it, like the next day, I went and found three jewelry jars. Now, I kind of started to open them and kind of look at them before I recorded. I'm sorry, I know. And I know a lot of people like stuff fresh out of the jar. I, I totally get that. But um, I opened it up and was going to uh, card some of the items, you know, display them or show you how I'm going to do them. And one of them had the hugest, biggest, gnarly knot of necklaces that no one with any amount of patience, even if it was unlimited patience, could have untangled. So when you have a situation like that, you have to just go ahead and decide what in that big gnarly mess do you just can live without and cut and trim and so I managed to salvage some of them but then at that point I said you know I'm just going to empty the jars and I'm going to card the earrings because I have them on hanging cards and then I had some that are uh, for pierced ears some that were for uh, clip-on and then a couple of them uh, I went through the brooches and I uh, put them uh, on the cards, the whole thing. So what I'm going to show you is the three jewelry jars and the jewelry uh, box that I got on eBay, but I'm going to show you how they are ready to go out and how they are priced. So this is kind of sort of a jewelry uh, unjarring, unboxing, unbagging, etc, etc, but this is kind of like after two hours of pricing and carding and juging and it's all ready to go. So I did make up, I will show you these, I did make up a couple of bags uh, of um, these uh, jewelry bags. Uh, there were a lot of ones in here that were kind of tarnished. They weren't really worth much. There was a couple that weren't necessarily in working order. So at that point, I just put them in a bag and these do sell. So I have that one and then I have this one. So there's some, you know, plastic beads and, you know, simple stuff like that. It's really windy here today, and I have the window open a little. So if you hear rattling, that's what it is. It's very windy today. So, yeah, so I have these two, uh, and these are, I have them for $6 each. Uh, and then I will turn the camera around, and I will show you. Uh, I'm going to lay them out, and you can take a look and see what I priced them at. Okay, so I have this bin here, and I'm going to show you what I got, and then I'm going to put them back in this bin. I actually decided that these bins are too small, so I have a larger bin that I'm going to be putting my jewelry in. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you one piece at a time and show you what I've priced it for. Remember I told you I was bagging all this stuff. And then I have it in such a way in a big bin so people can dig through it. If it's in here and it's full, it's people aren't going to be digging in it because it'll just it's too much. So yeah, let me jump in and show you what I have. Now you remember I was cutting out these pieces of upholstery fabric and then putting the item in there and then putting on the back uh, like this is a necklace. I did measure them because I don't want people opening them and looking. So this one I have a circle necklace, five dollars. So there's what it looks like. And then I had another one that was very similar to that. It's in here somewhere. But here's another one that's got the beads and like a little gold uh, part. And it's actually, it's like on a leather cord. So that one's 16 inches, four dollars. So this is what I've priced them at. These were two bolo uh, ties. Um, this one on red, it's got like a wheat, and then this one, oh, yeah, I don't, let's see, yeah, and then this one, yeah, that one's, it's got a little like crest, family crest or something on there, so I have those two together, and I have six on them. Here's a little, uh, this one almost looks like it you know, it's clear, but it's like somebody painted it or something. That one is a 19 inch. I got $4. Now I'm going to give you a grand total 
when I'm all done, this is just a simple beaded necklace. And some of these I wrote right on the bag. That one's 22 inch. That was four. So this is costume jewelry. It's priced reasonably. Um, 17 inch, four dollars. This is pearl and it's got the little gold beads. This one is like a wooden um, one with the little tubes and the beads. Um, this one is 50 inches, so that's a really long one. You could tie a knot in that. That's five dollars. This one is 18 inches. It's purple and like blue, like a lavender color blue uh, pearl necklace. 18 inches, five dollars. Um, and then I went through and I used my ring sizer, which I have that I got at a garage sale a couple years ago. And then I measured and put the size of the ring on there. Four dollars, and I put adjustable ring. It's another one, eight to nine, because it's got the stretchy back on it. That's four dollars. This one's really kind of pretty. It's it's got uh, like little teeny metal, and then it really is shiny. It's very pretty. That one's thirty six inches. That one's quite long as well. I put five on that. Um, this one. Uh, was 32 inch. It's uh, the silver tone with like the lavender beads. I put five. So most of these are five and less. Like this one I have for six. Um, this one is like purple beads. Uh, and this one is what 30 inches. And then this one has like the little shells and then green and clear seed beads. That one is three. Here's a ring. I have six dollars or six size six. Now here's how I did the pins. I have them uh, on these upholstery fabric. That one's five. Oops, I think I accidentally threw that one into the trash. <laughs> I think I threw that one a little too tough. Uh, marble and silver necklace. This one is five dollars, and that's eighteen inches. Uh, this is a fish brooch. Uh, that one is five dollars. This one looks like a little magic lamp. I have $4. Uh, feathers. Um, put five on that. This one's really pretty too. It's got the little dangly uh, little beads on a silver necklace. It is quite long, 32. I have $5 on that one. Um, $3 small black beads. Um, this one is 30 inches. This one's really cute. This would be for like a little girl because the chain isn't that long. Uh, it's got a little locket and a little horse on it. And that one is 16 inches, so that one's quite small. I put five on that one. And this is so cute when I saw it. It's a little armadillo pin. I put five. This one looks like a chain around the pearls. I checked all these for gold or silver and markings, and not really a lot of them had it. So I put six on that one. Uh, this ring is a five and a half. I think I got like two of those. I put four. Uh, green beads with the silver ones in between. Uh, that one was three dollars, and it's a uh, 22 inch. Yeah, if you measure these, it takes an extra minute or two, but people won't be opening them up, hopefully. Um, this one is Magnetic Closure, $4, and it is a bangle, and it's got the different colors uh, of stones. This is like a wraparound one. I put $4 on that one. This is a very cute little uh, bug pin. That one was 5 just another one of those. This is a six and a half. I think I put four. There's this one. It has a letter E and then some little charms. That's this 18 inch and I put three. So you see how I'm, you know, staging these on here in this brooch. I put five. But it's really nice when you do it that way because then it's in here and then when people dig in it's not going to be a big tangled mess like it was when I went to open them. If you have a snarl of jewelry you just have to pick which one you don't. You can live without and you're just going to have to cut a few and I know it's painful but it is what it is. So this is like a double hoop gold color, five dollars. Um, these are two Girl Scout pins. There was another one, but it was it was really damaged, so I just tossed it. 
and I put five on those. This is very cute, like a tan or brown uh, little star amber flower brooch. I put five dollars. Uh, this one is uh, like a turquoise, uh, 30 inches. I put six. Uh, this one is so cute. It has like a black leather, faux leather cord. And it's an owl. Very adorable. I put seven. I think that's the most expensive thing in this entire uh, thing that I got. This is several beads uh, necklaces. So it looks like a whole bunch of necklaces. I put five. This one is a 28 inch. Uh, this is a little bow pin. That one is three. So I know this is different than a conventional unjarring. And I have two more jars, jewelry jars to undo. I will do those the traditional way. But for now, I was, I thought, you know, this is show you how much I'm pricing, how much I'm going to make, etc. Here's that other circle one. Looks like a star almost. So that one's an 18-inch chain, $5. This is just a pen. Very pretty, actually. I put five. There was a whole bunch of stick pins in here. So I put two and three in each one. So this has got a heart. And then, uh, I don't think that's a cross necessarily. It looks almost like 1928. And then a flower. So all three of those for $6. This amber uh, rectangle type brooch. I put six. This one's a little bit tarnished, but I didn't know if, I don't know, it kind of looks like it's maybe meant to be that way. Almost looks like a letter G. I don't know. It could be anything you want it to be. Five dollars. Um, this one has the little footprints. And that one was four dollars. And then this one is just uh, like the oval links. Uh, Sixteen inches, five dollars. This is an adjustable bow uh, bracelet. I put four fifty. I don't know why I put four fifty. Here's just a little circle brooch in silver tone, four fifty. This is actually a tie. What do they call it? A tie bar. A tie bar. A tie tack. A tie clip. Whatever you want to call it. Um, that one I put five. This is a very tiny little heart pin. I put three fifty. This is kind of cool. It looks like a belt, and it is adjustable, so you can open and close it. So it has the hinge. Um, put five dollars on that one. This one, you know, this classic picture of the two angels and the bow, and I put five on that one. This one's really pretty. This one's a newer one, I think, with the green and blue on the butterflies, and I put six on that one. This is another uh, pin or pennant you could put on a necklace it looks like someone just put a hole through it and then just did a little like a little swirl design at the top i put six on that uh, there's this necklace this one is 20 inches i put five see how much jewelry is in there good gracious this is a lot um this one is like a blue and green cord i actually got to turn that one around 16 inches because it almost looks like a stained glass You know what, I'm not going to take that price tag off because it won't want to stick again. But I'm going to turn it around so people can actually see that. I'll set that one aside. Here's like a red, white, and blue ribbon pin or brooch, uh, $5. There's uh, this one that's gold, and then it's got these little, like, I don't know. They're not really, they're kind of like a ceramic bead. They, they look wood, but they don't think they are. Yeah, clay beads, $5. This one's 40 inches. This is a really pretty, it looks like it's uh, stitched around three regular uh, bracelets, and then but it's very pretty. I put six on that one. Uh, this one is a bracelet where it's stretchy, and it's got the different uh, pictures, bird and a butterfly, and a heart, and a couple sayings. I put five on that one. This is just a basic shell necklace, nothing special. Put two bucks on it. Uh, this is a triple A uh, patrol service, so like a crossing guard kind of a pin. And that one I put three. 
This is a very heavy uh, ball necklace with a lock that someone blinged out. I put uh, $5 on there. That's a 16 This is also a stretchy uh, bracelet, like a hammered design. I put 5 on that one. This is like a silver and black uh, brooch. I put 7 on that one. A uh, cute little teddy bear with a little, looks like a little, uh, I don't know, ruby maybe. Four dollars, 18 inch pearl, real very tiny pearl necklace. Uh, Four dollars. This one is a double chain charm necklace. I put 24 inches, five dollars. Kind of a swirly one, uh, I put five. So it, I tell you, this this does add up when you only put a few bucks on them. But you have a lot. People will stand there for a while and dig through them. This is a seven to an eight and a half adjustable ring. I put four. This one has like a regular cord and then the almost like a stained glass design. This one is 16 inch and I put four. This one's kind of a pearl-esque looking, um, like a real light lavender, 18 inches. I put three dollars. Here's another black uh, and gold ribbon with the little rhinestones. Put five on that one. This is an oval metal necklace, 18 inch. I put five. Here's another tie bar. It's got the Florida Lees and like a shield. I put five on that one. This is another uh, big swirl brooch. This would look great on like a winter coat. Put six dollars. Letter V uh, with a little uh, rhinestone. I put five on that one. Uh, this one is a real delicate looking ring, uh, size eight and a half. I put four. We're getting down to it. This real pretty pin with a flower. I put five. Kind of a creepy looking clown. <laughs> put four dollars on there. There's another little tiny, um, tiny ring. Nothing special. Size six and a half. Two dollars. Yeah, if, if you're going to be reselling rings, even if you bag them up like I do, you know, invest in a couple bucks and get the ring sizer because it definitely helps. This is just a plain little light green. See, stuff that was like this, I mean, three dollars, 18 inches. A lot of this stuff is what I bagged up that I've already showed you. Here's like really tiny, like seed pearls with the gold, 14 inches, five dollars. That would look good on like a little girl. Um, uh, 250 white bead necklace, 48 inches, nice long one. I didn't bag this one up with the other uh, like junk type jewelry because I thought that's a really long one, so I'm gonna look for that. Size five and a half turquoise style ring, four dollars. Um, this is a flower and it looks like it's almost like gold, um, almost like a string art. I put five on that one, um, red and gold. I put six on that one. These are just cheapy cheap uh, little stretchy bracelets. So I put two bucks on those. Here is a, a tiger brooch. And six on that one. This is very cute. It's got like the tan and then the amber and red uh, beads or uh, what do you call them? Like gemstone, $5. Here is another bracelet, kind of like a gold pearl look. $5, 46 inches. Another feather, $5. Um, another pin. I uh, put, what, four on that one? Yeah, $4.50. Uh, this 30 inch uh, necklace, $5. Here's another feather. It's kind of turned with a little rhinestone. That one was $4.50. Here's uh, three more stick pens, a heart, and just a circle, and then a butterfly. $6 on that one. Um, just kind of a pearl design brooch. $6. Uh, this, uh, this one, when I took it out, it's like nine inches or ten inches, so it's I don't it's not a bracelet, it's probably an anklet, so I put four dollars on that one. 
And then this uh, little ribbon with the uh, flag, four dollars. Whew! So I got uh, one more uh, bag of the earrings, but look, this is where I'm at so far. And then these two. And then I'm gonna lay out my earrings, and then that, and then I'll give you the grand total of how much everything came to. Ooh, okay, now here is uh, earrings. Um, I have a small bag here that has the clip-on ones. And then when I put them on here, let me just show you one here. So I have it on there, and then I put clip. So, and then of course the price is on the back. Now all of my earrings are $3.99 each, and then these ones I put separately because I have like one part of my spinner rack is all clip-on. People buy clip-on, so don't think, ah, that's only, you know, only older people or older women wear those. There are people who still look for it because they're, they're allergic or whatever the case might be. Uh, so yeah, do carry them if you have the uh, room for them. So I'm just going to go through these and show them. Like I said, these I buy these cards off of eBay or Amazon, and they have where you can hang them up. Uh, so you see, that's what I have on all of them is $3.99. Uh, these are kind of long, like a shell one. Uh, these looked like they were clip, but they are actually pierced. Um, but when you have the clip-on ones, I mean, people... Not everybody's willing to dig. If something's not clearly marked, then they're they're just gonna say eh, it's not worth the time. And then there's this one, and then these. And, oh, those are so 80s, aren't they? Crazy. These are really pretty. I had similar ones like that when I got married. Uh, those are pretty. Here's ones that are kind of the string art little purple ones. These are cute too. Aren't those gorgeous? You know, some of these you can almost imagine the outfit that they would go with. Look at these little dangly ones. Um, you just never know what you're going to find when you uh, when you open up these jewelry jars. So there's a lot of earrings. Now if I get really small ones, I will double put them and then I put two and circle it. Um, but look at these look like little bugs. But yeah, if I get two little small ones, I'll just put them together and uh, sell them at the same price. These look like basket weave or something. Here's another two little ones. These. So, these are hearts. Here's another little two. Little rhinestones and then the little uh, butterflies brown and the black so yeah so I, I went through and I kind of like figured out what I spent so I spent uh, $30 no $45 on the three jewelry jars that includes it being half price and then the one that I bought online was $14.99 so $15 so $45, $55, $60 I spent on all of this jewelry that I've shown you. And I priced it all out. And you see I'm not charging a lot. So for the brooches, necklaces, bracelets, and all of these earrings, which I'm almost done showing you, it came to like almost $300. Here's doubled ones. So yeah, so for a small price to pay, if you have the room to display either, you know, putting them in a bag in a bin like I do, or having, you know, the spinner with the earrings that I have that I can hang up, like that one, it fits like 260 pair or something. Look at these, oh my gosh. They look like a chunk of mango or something, don't they? Ooh, so 80s. And we're down to the last two. Ooh, aren't those pretty? So all of this jewelry that I just showed you came to, like I said, 60 bucks, and it's almost $300 worth of jewelry after it's all priced out. And that's including just these bags where I didn't, you know, if they were cheaper or, you know, like some of this, it's like only half of it or if they're broke, um, you know, 
that's a lot of money. So that's a good return on investment. So I hope you enjoyed this different kind of unjarring of my jewelry jars. Um, I have, if you can believe it, two more jewelry jars. So these two I will be doing an unjarring, just cutting the top off and dumping them out like I normally do. But let me know what you think of this format. Do you rather see them this way um, to kind of give you an idea how much I expect to make? Uh, please uh, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this style of unjarring. Uh, or if you just like the way where you just cut the top and I'm surprised as you look at it uh, for the first time. Um, also, uh, subscribe if you haven't already. If you're new to my channel and you made it this far, please, I'm so glad that you're here. Subscribe. I do all kinds of uh, haul videos, garage sales, thrift stores, auction hauls, and also booth tours of my booth I have in an antique mall. So, uh, again, I appreciate you watching and sticking around. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter under The Pudgy Picker. And also look up me up on Twitter. Uh, Twitter. Oh, gosh. Look me up under Pinterest under just Pudgy Picker. So I will see you guys next time. And until then, happy picking. Bye.